All right, hello guys. I'm back. A lot has changed since my last video, so I'm gonna show y'all a couple things that have changed. Um, boost. I bought the 50 game offensive boost. Uh, I'm not gonna get any of the others yet because VC right now is running pretty low. Cause I just spent some on my shooting guard, and I should be hitting you guys up with some gameplay for that probably around the weekend. Let's see, let's see, let's see, what else? Um, oh yeah, my overall stats. My athlete, a little bit higher overall, 93. Small forward, offensive star. Um, yeah, one of the most important things that y'all should see is, as y'all see, the teammate chemistry dropped to 82. Pretty sure you guys already know why that happened. That happened because, yes, I am now on the Golden State Warriors. And in the season, we're not doing so hot. Um, recently, I just managed to play um, a couple good games with the team. It was mainly the low teammate chemistry that was like costing us, or costing me a lot of, um, a lot of like basically high teammate grade, a lot of easy points. I had a, a, a long stretch of cold games. Uh, let's see. My season stats. Uh, 31 points per game. Offensive rebounds, 1.7. I'm still trying to get the offensive crasher badge, guys. I think when I just checked the stats, I mean, on, yeah, the stats on how to get it, I think they said you needed to get like 150 or something like that. I think it was a 175. I don't know. Defensive rebounds per game. You see, as y'all know, my stats are still a little bit lower than what they're supposed to be due to when I simulated a lot of the early season. We're basically almost at the all-star break. And I'm finally trying to get my stuff together. So let's see how my stats are at the end of this season. I'm really just hoping they're not lower than they were last season. But it looks like some of them might be... Um, Rebounds per game, 9.3. Assists per game, higher than last year. I'm, that is the only stat that I was really able to keep way higher. My steals per game, too, is, is getting there. I've been getting pretty much like a good one or two steals a game. Blocks per game is lower than it should be. Way lower. I've still been I'm consistently getting about three to four blocks a game. So that's one thing that I haven't changed from when I, I, I've been playing. Turnovers per game. Um, surprisingly, it's lower than what I expected. Honestly, I kind of expected it to be at like double digits per game. A lot of bad passes recently is what I've been getting. A lot of like stolen passes. A lot of basically people just stealing the ball from me as I dribble. It's a bunch of crazy crap. Um, field goals made. Attempted field goal percentage. I was at 50. I dropped just a smidge. Four point. I mean, 48 percent on the season. Pretty high. Three point. Nah, what's my three point percentage? My three point percentage is. I won't lie. It's. It's real. That's. Well, this season I played a lot of this season without my boosts, and without my boosts I can't shoot the three ball so I'm only at 33 percent on the season which is not too hot I got KD shooting the three ball better Damian Lillard shooting the three ball better oh my god PG Stephen Curry thanks to me because last season his percentage was only at like 30 something percent now it's at 45 look at that cheese uh, what else do I want to show you um free throw percentage I'm still up there, but it did drop just a smidge. I'm trying to get it to a 92 or above to end the season right now. It's at a 91. Minutes per game, yeah, a bit lower than what I want. I'm I'm, I'm going to show y'all the, um, the, the roster soon and how many minutes I get. Yeah, none of this is as important. Uh, player stats. All right, these are this team's player stats. Um... Stephen Curry, 23.8 points per game. Klay Thompson, 19 points a game. Look at the ov overall difference between these two. A, ni a 94 and an 84. 
it seems like Clay is mainly there for his defense. Not as really, not really that much his outside scoring, but he's been pretty reliable, especially in games when Stefan isn't. We just had a game when Stefan was missing horribly, but I think it's due to the volume sh shooter bats because he missed. Well, his first shot was blocked. Second shot, he um second shot it was a tightly contested shot that missed and then he hadn't shot for like a while he was in foul trouble um later on in the game he shot an open three missed like i don't know what's really good with um curry but i think it's that volume sh shooter bad sometimes it works uh, against him but he's definitely up there in assist per game i'm gonna see if i could get him to average more than d rose and I'm gonna be, I'm gonna see if I can show you guys where the Bulls are standing in the East. Steals per game, 2.7. Curry's uh, um, there. Turnovers, he, for, for a point guard, he doesn't get that many turnovers per game. His field goal percentage is high for a point guard, 50%. Period. Just overall field goal percentage. Now, this is the team's three point shooting. Me, 33. Stephen Curry. Oh, wait, I'm walling. Wait, wait, wait. Was I looking at... Oh, no, I was look, looking at Curry's. All right. Um, Stephen Curry's 45. Klay Thompson, 42. Draymond is unreliable when it comes to outside scoring. I thought he it would have been like him. IRL, you pass out. He's unreliable on defense and outside scoring. On defense, yes, he does block shots. He does guard tight. But it seems like Draymond cannot keep his feet set. And he's always in the air, just giving up easy fouls to the opposing offense. And he basically fouls out every game. I'm, I'm going to see if I could pull up his fouls per game. How many fouls he have? That is not true. Because every game I've played in this season, Draymond has gotten fouled out in almost every one. Or he ended the game with five fouls. But back to what I was saying with the three three point percentage, Draymond's 34. Harrison Barnes, truthfully, in my opinion, has been more reliable with his three point shot than, than Dray Draymond has. He's at 30. Or he spades. Um, I had him shoot a three once to end the shot clock, and he did make it. But besides that, I don't see him take a, a lot of threes. So I don't really know how to explain that low three-point percentage, especially since it says that he's there for outside scoring. He's a face-up center, shooter, all-around star perimeter, defender, all-around superstar, defensive star. No, offensive star. Iggy's three point percentage. Um, I won't say it's the most reliable, but he has come through for us definitely in, in, in this team. I won't even lie, he has come through for us on the defensive end, not necessarily as much on the off offensive end. I have gotten a pretty good amount of my assists, um, from him. I, I have assisted him a lot, but. He's not that good at, you know, making plays for for the team and getting himself open. So his three point percentage pretty much from from what I've seen it explains itself. I love playing with Bogut compared to playing with Noah. Noah, his overall I think is close to um to Bogut's. I won't lie. Wait, what? Bogut, his outside scoring is pretty high. Damn, okay, okay. But Bogut, the thing about Bogut is Bogut blocks way more shots, fouls way less, and makes way more free throws than Noah, which is what I love. I, I That's all I, I really want. I don't care if you're a center who can't shoot at least – you need to make up for your bad offense with great defense. I have yet to see Bogut miss either an open jump shot or like an open layup. Noah, I've seen him do that a dozen times. I'm tired of seeing that. Kent Bazemore, this, most of the times when I'm playing, I see him playing as point guard. Same thing with 
Iggy. I think it's because I play a lot of shoot shooting guard when I'm in um Kent Bazemore. He's been a pretty reliable point guard for especially when we're down. Curry seems like whenever he he's in, I won't e even lie. Sometimes the offense is like a little bit slower and more hectic, but when Bazemore is in, it's it's pretty solid. His three point percentage, three point ninety eight. Josh Smith, this is one of the things that scared me about being on this team. The fact that Josh Smith was on it. Um, of course, everybody knows the obvious thing that I was scared about. Free throws. His free throw percentage is, of course, garbage. He's a 46% shooter from the three-point line. Um... From what I've seen playing with him, I haven't seen him miss that many shots, so it's not much of a issue with me from what I've seen. But um, I, I, I'm just hoping that I, I don't care about it. now. One, I hope we make it to the playoffs because when I show y'all how we rank, it doesn't seem like it seems like we're gonna really have to battle for that fourth spot, not even the third spot for the fourth. Uh, Archie Goodwin, this guy doesn't play. Yeah, this guy doesn't play. I've never seen, I've never played with him at at least. I'm pretty sure he averages like zero minutes a game. Same thing with Dwayne Dedman. Same thing with Kevin, Kevon Looney. They average like zero minutes a game. Just backups in case anything goes wrong. All right, and division standings, all right. Pacific Division, here's where Golden State ranks. We're third in a division of only five teams. That's, wait, one, two, three, four, yeah, five teams. Look at our record. We're 17 of 16. We're barely winning most of our games. That's, for Golden State, in my opinion, what, what I was thinking, that's not so good. As you see on our current streak it says we lost two we lost our last two games so yeah this city uh, uh, excuse me this isn't what I was expecting from this team on the road we're 10 of 7 but it seems like a lot of our L's come at home so we need to do a, a better job at defending um home court advantage taking advantage of it Here's where, you know, the shocking thing comes in. Conference standings, we're one, two, three, four. We're fourth. And Denver and the Kings are in great position to top us right now. Because we're not doing so hot. Okay, see. And the Clippers, as I expected, are doing good. The Suns, I need to see their roster. Because I'm really surprised that they're doing so incredibly good doing better damn the grizzlies Timberwolves, spurs rockets all these other good teams when they play against the east are doing horribly wow but yeah this is the western conference where we rank right now 17 of 16 games back we're 5.5 games back so we have a lot of the season left but so far, it doesn't look too hot. Look how the Eastern Conference is shaping up. Oh, boy. What? Wait, wait. N no, no. All right. Ev ev everybody sees this, right? Everybody sees this. The Philadelphia 76ers are first in the Eastern Conference? Are you serious? They have less losses. Then the Cavs, that's why they passed the Cavs. They have same amount of wins, just less losses. 12 of 4 at home, 11 of 5 on the road. And they're on a two game losing streak right now. I, I doubt that by the end of the season, they're going to be in first. Look at my Bulls team. Oh my goodness. They're on a one winning streak, 15 of 15. On home, they're seven of seven on the road, eight of eight. Not 
doing so hot they're really not doing as good as I expected the Knicks are doing better than the Bulls guys because the Knicks played more games than us but although it they have the same winning percentage with a team that played more games than us that's why they're above us the Knicks are doing way better than us we're almost at the bottom of the conference yet the Knicks are damn you know, I, I would really, I really would have thought the 76ers being the worst team in the league, IRL, I thought they would have been at the bottom. It's crazy. Oh, yeah, another thing. Um, I don't think I mentioned this to y'all. Um, in my, in this season of 2K, the, the reason why the Celtics are doing so good is because LeBron James is on the Celtics. Yeah, y'all heard me right. LeBron James got traded off of the Cleveland Cavaliers and he's now on the Celtics and they didn't trade him for Marcus Smart Marcus Smart I, I had just played against him he's playing on some other team I think he's playing on um one of the teams I had just played played, played against but he's on one of those teams so he's not doing so hot when I played against him all-star voting. Let me show y'all this. I am scared right now. Oh, yeah. C CP3 is injured. Ooh. Not so good. Not so good. Um, Not backcourt. Frontcourt. Right. Yeah. Out of KD's. KD is right now leading for frontcourt. And, of course, that's not good because I have to pass him for the small forward position cuz I doubt that they're going to have me play as shooting guard in the all-star game maybe during the game but not in the all-star game I have to win for the small forward position I really got to win unless they put me in a small forward and then they have him as power forward and then Anthony Davis in as center I think that would be better I think that's the best thing but doesn't look like that's going to happen until I, I can get enough votes. How? Truthfully, I do not know how I'm going to get these votes. But I'm going to get them somehow. Somehow, some way, i got to get these votes. Rudy Gay is no longer on the Kings. Or is he injured? Oh, he's injured. I'm about to say, because when I played against the Kings, he was not there. Zebo, Zach. Randolph. How old is that? Oh, 36. Yep, retirement's coming for you, buddy. Retirement's definitely coming for you, my friend. Yep, so that's about all I have to show y'all. Wait, is that? Yeah, my minutes. Alright, here's the minutes. I only get 38. I would love to get 40 per game because they tend to set me out at the worst times. Right now, I'm on fire for minutes. Harrison Barnes are on fire for minutes. I think honestly, Harrison Barnes should be starting instead of Draymond. But hey, it's not my decision. Stephen Curry gets 33. Clay Thompson gets 29. I think the reason why my minutes went up is because it's coming out of their minutes. I'm pretty sure that's why. Clay Thompson's older than wait. Seven Curry's older than Clay Thompson. Damn. I did not know that. Wait, so oh why was I thinking Clay was on the team before Curry was? Was he I'm I'm gonna find that out later. Yeah. Yeah, that's something to look into. Alright, enough of that, guys. Let's go into the action. Warriors, Grizzlies, let's go. It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Hello and welcome, everybody. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. We're glad. Oh, yeah, and in case any of y'all are wondering about um, Tonight, some of my videos being muted or some of them not playing. 
properly or like there's ads on some of them yeah that's due to copyright um no notices because of the fact that i play music through the game and it's copyrighted whenever i do that i i don't understand how but uh i, I dealt with it for a little bit i was like yeah the ads aren't that bad and i tried to remove the songs from the video but then by editing it on, on YouTube, but it seems like it takes like a year for them to edit it and, and sure just take the song out. So sure some of the videos are either on full mute or there's ads in it where they can't play in certain countries or certain devices, things of that nature. So this game and all games going forward for 2K, hopefully if I don't forget, um, all of the songs are going to be muted. Memphis, always Wait, hold on. Because I could have sworn I muted it, but it's playing right now. Oh no, it is muted. Yeah, it's muted. It's just playing that. That part of the thing. Mm. I swear to God, if I get a copyright notice for this, because that little bit of music is playing on the intro, I'm gonna be so pissed off. Because I think I know how to turn that little part off, but I, I hope it's not a big deal. Alright, come on, get this tip. Oh yeah, Bokit, one thing I realized is that he doesn't start. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Caught him with that double move. Great way to start off the game. I thought it was gonna miss that layup though. Curry layup package. Jeez. Um, I realized that Maurice Spade starts in, instead of Bogut. Bogut still gets a lot of minutes, but Maurice plays way more minutes than him. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Come on. Come on. Give me that assist. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Four zip. Come on, come on. Let's get a nice low run. Here is Conley. He had a 12 point outing in their last game against Miami. In the corner, Randolph with it. Five to shoot. Here's Green. Marvelous lead back. That's on me. Thought I could have gotten that, that little Pacific chase down right there. That lead pass. Robertson drives in. Ooh, another down. double move. I, tell you what, you I almost messed that up. Um, one thing I'm trying to work on is just having confidence in the shots that I take. Cause I realized that a lot of my turnovers, I was getting. Wow, that's on me. Yeah. Um, one thing I, I realized that I was getting a lot of my turnovers due to risky passes because I would pass out of my shot. Oh wow, my batteries are low. Right, let me fix this real quick. Always got my batteries handy. You already know. Already know how it is. Let me pause this for a quick little bit. My bad, folks. I'm sorry. Hopefully that's not an issue. A little over a minute 30 into this first quarter. Conley oh, let me get this. Damn. Conley's got his first three I want you up by one now, so we got to, you know, you know, stay aggressive because it is still early. Oh, my. God. That was that was typo on me. I set the screen a bit too close. Now here's Green. 11 points for him in that last game against the Heat in Miami. Okay, until I max out my athlete, so I could work on up upgrading my playmaking. I could pass them better lobs. Wow, that's BS. He barely even got past me, but I bet you if I do that, I'm going to lose the ball. Robertson kicks to green. Out to the wing. 
He should have threw that alley just now. All right, good pass. Elevates and powers in the one hand. Ah, uh, textbook. Yeah, and I'm glad, guys. He doesn't go. Uh, let me play tighter on on, on Jeff Green. I can't have my matchup. Beat up. Oh, block that. Oh yeah. Come on, come on. Pass it up, Curry. Hate when he wants to hold. Make that. Thank you. Good and Curry gets the assist. I swear sometimes Curry's worse than D Rose in the sense that like on fast break sometimes he does not pass it. I'm hoping that that's just a problem with the teammate chemistry. Or maybe that's just how they made him because he's just so confident. That was an easy tear trap right there. Yo, he's getting triple. Yo, bang. Nah, that was some triple team cheese. I'm kind of surprised. And I'm kind of surprised that pass out of my shot just now didn't get messed up. Cause I'm still trying to get that flashy passer badge. Well, I doubt I'm going to get it with my passing stats being low. Go, I realized this. I didn't get my poster riser badge, although I had no contact dunks. I didn't get my post rider badge until after I had upgraded my athlete by one. I'm guessing some of the badges that I need, I need to uh, upgrade a certain stat a, a little bit more in order to get it. Look at the turnover stats in that game. You're not going to win giving it up as many times as they did. Not unless you play an even tougher brand of defense on your end and force more turnovers for the other side. That's the only way you're going to get that thing squared away. Here's Conley. Following the basket Damn it. Green. Trying to get that Except interceptor badge, too. Gasol against Spates. Charity stripe shot. Gasol. Ooh, shot a free throw on oh, my boy. Points of the night. He just couldn't get a hand in the face on that one. That's using what you got. He's got a height advantage. Put it to good use there and got him some. Ah. Full strides of badge coming in and the clutch. I remember before I got that badge, I used to have to lay those in. Or they would get blocked. Well, you know, for me, guys, it's all about positioning and anticipation on those screen plays. And they got this all doing pretty well, pretty well. Execution there. The turnaround, such a difficult shot to defend. I better not say, oh, my fault, my fault again, Curry. And it's Conley penetrating. Here's Randolph. Nah, that's all. Wow. I don't expect Zebo to make that one in front of, in front of tight pass. defense. Alright, run this pick and roll. Because I know that Stephen Curry has a pick and roll um, badge. But his badge is only silver. That, that's, that's like one of his only... Silver badges. He has that bad silver. And surprisingly, I would think that Stephen Curry would have relentless finisher um, gold, but he only has it bronze. Totally forgot how I even checked his badges. I said I should have did that for the whole team, so I don't know how I would have played with them. Now you better not make that. Wow. Did he seriously try and dunk yeah, that in? Really, Vivo? Well, I like the fact they've already been getting a lot of high-quality shots in the paint. Come on, miss that one, bro. You know, I realize on this team, like it seems like we play. I, I'm hoping that in the second half of the season, that means that we we play a lot of games home. But it seems like we play a lot of games on the road. Green against Robertson on the wing Thompson and that's out of bounds Golden State will retain possession Doris is that to catch up with wow coach Dave Yeager. Gary Neal uh, what do you have to say one player that he's talked to his guys a yeah lot I feel like we're not gonna Curry. score on one of the this in the game, and he's possession trigger we really have to be tight to him get physical and try to get him on his heels as much as possible you guys Curry is an excellent shooter we'll see if they can do that without fouling him all right, Doris, thanks. And the Warriors with possession here. They trail by one. Shot clock at five. Robertson can't get it to go. Uh, a risky shot, but I could have made that. 
Randolph kicks to Conley. Randolph a screen, and it's Conley penetrating, and it's blocked by Curry, and the wide open shot from Damn. The I like how that's on shot. me, and my man switched like three times Boy, just now. To a flying start. Yeah, we're seeing some high octane offense from both sides in this one. Three from Robertson. It's good. Ooh, now wet like water. He's made all but one shot so far with six makes. Not too bad there. Thompson against Conley. Outside Randolph. Here's Gasol. It's rebounded by Robertson. And even though he missed that, you, you have to take those shots when you get the opportunity. Exactly. They don't come much better or easier than that. It's Thompson off. Oh, the now trail. you're wilding. Here's Neil. He's oh, that's Thompson. on me. Offensive rebound. Wow. That's a mismatch. I'm done. Nah, that wasn't even a forced turnover. He just spun out. But I, I, I realized that a lot about being on the Warriors. I've seen this numerous times. For some reason, they tend to leave Curry alone to guard the centers in the paint a lot. Like they just leave your boy on an island. Robertson, great tee that time Damn. from Green. They really depend on him to convert those chances. A lot of times, even with solid D draped on him, they expect him to make it. Neal dishes to Conley. Down low, and it's sent back by Robertson. Launches it, and Curry pulls it down. Curry getting rebounds. My son lob it up. Damn, you should have just lobbed it up. That's the only thing about this team that I don't understand. I remember one time, I, I think it was Kent Bazemore did a behind the back alley at like the dumbest time. And it was a turnover and it said bad call for pass on me. But that could have been a good alley play just now. But of course, you know, I don't know. I don't know. It seems like they just don't, don't like to lob it up. A huge drop off, so no major concern. Catching up on the changes for Memphis. Mahini's checked in for Gasol. White comes in for Zach Randolph. And Wesley Johnson has subbed for Green. Andrew Bogut, he's checked in for the Warriors. Harrison Barnes comes in for Tremont. I Bogut's in. I think him and Maurice play identical minutes. Like, I think they almost play the same amount of minutes per game, or one of them plays a little bit less than the other. Damn, bro. Oh, Bogut. Damn. Saw that coming. Should have dunked it. My boy went for a layup. Right sets a screen. Conley kicks to Johnson. From deep, Neal. That one falls. Coming off Johnson. Damn. All right, we're down by three. I want to lead in every quarter. And let's get your take, guys, on the hustle stats for the Grizzlies. Well, in the first half of play, they're closing out aggressively. Yo, what's up with this triple team cheese? Indicator of their activity on the defensive side. Like Curry's, like I think it's because we're doing double screens. I think that's why he's getting triple teams. Oh, move, 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 move! Because I watch it say I, I left my assignment. Right sets a screen. Conley dishes to Johnson. Free throw line jump shot. Second shot opportunity, and it's good. Damn. They've come out with a take no prisoners approach on the glass today. Yeah, and it's already got them a plus five margin in the rebound column. Now, here's Curry. Boy, he just disappeared against Charlotte, and they really needed him. Thompson with the bucket. Good. My boy shot still wet like water. All right. I really... All right, either we're going to need to go two for one, or we're going to need to get a couple threes. The pass to Neal. Or a There's couple a turnovers right now. From the elbow. No good. Curry was a nice D. Yo, yo, yo. He just couldn't make it count. Yeah, nice job of setting the screen by his teammate there. And I'm sure he appreciated it. Now here's Curry. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. 
Robertson kicks to Bogut. And fouled hard. Damn, that should have been an assist, but I won't even lie. That pass almost got tipped. All right, come on, Bogut. Damn, baby, come on, come on, make this one, make this one, make this one, come on. Wow, you see what I'm talking about? Get me tight. They sent me out at the dumbest times. At least this time, we're actually up. So for the Golden State Warriors right now, Robertson, he's in at three. Maurice Spades out there with Green, and there's Clay Thompson, and it's Paysmore at the two. And it's Green missing. Oh, you, you've got to be able to deliver when you get a bunny like that. That's just too easy of a shot to miss. Robertson with it. Now Green defending. Goes up at the stripe. They get it again. I'm all in. Uh, I, I should have shot it the first time I, I made him fall. Seven of ten. Second basket of the night. The number of points they've scored in the yeah, that is another thing that I'm trying to work on for this season. Working on reacting to certain an animations quicker. So I don't waste open shot opportunities as, as much. Robertson with the steal. To the inside. Here's Thompson. And, and one and one. The Damn. On the shot, a trip to the line to shoot two. No, I tell you what, he earned his money. Got to get my athlete of like a run faster to zoom on them. On the night, he's gone two for two at the stripe. An 89% free throw shooter puts him right there among the league's best from the line. You know, there's been some improvement in his free throw shooting this year. His percentage has taken a little jump compared to last season. <sighs> Outside Conley, pass to Randolph. That's the wall. And he uses the glass on the way. Wow. Randolph's got That's nine. been moved really had him dazed and dazzled. The Only given up six here in this quarter. Their last encounter was in Oakland. And the last meeting of these two Too teams, easy. they were really sharp defensively, disrupting the flow of their offense. I mean, playing like a center out here. I'm not even shooting the ball. Very satisfying Ooh. performance, Greg, and one they'll look to repeat tonight. I mean, they ended up that is the one thing about the Golden State defense that I love. They set it up so that Klay Thompson is always guarding the point guard, which makes it a mismatch every time, which allows him to block a lot of their shots. And with him blocking a lot of their shots, it causes a lot of turnovers. That's good. Oh, if he would have missed, my boy Clay Thompson shots what like water tonight. Ooh. Everything splash, splash, splash. On the same page, completely in sync, tremendous communication and awareness. Conley dishes to Randolph. Give me that. Yeah. Golden State's gone to three-point range seven times tonight, knocked down five of them from the stripe. Wow, are you serious? Nah, nah. I missed that like three times now. It's not a disciplined performance defensively in that game, guys. A lot of silly fouls hurt them throughout. I think lack of discipline is the right phrase, Greg. I nah. Mean, a lot of silly fouls, and they did that even when they were in foul trouble. Offensive rebound. And, and you know, coaches just love players who they can count on to give that effort defensively. And he clearly is one of Come those on. guys, Greg. We saw yes. it right there. Nice work for No defense was on me. They've had assists now on their last three baskets. And I know why I keep missing also, that off balance fadeaway jumper. A lot of those opportunities. Fifty-three, thirty-four to blow out game awaits. Protect the pain. All right, I got you right now. That means you want eighty blocks in this game. I got you right now. In the third spot, Jeff Green. I mean, if you're an opposing small forward, this could also be called a list of the league's most annoying players. I mean, they will be in your jersey all night when you're up against them. Greg, they are an elite group of defenders. I mean, damn, that was on me. I, I, I didn't sense that play coming. Ooh. <laughs> you know, he's got that it factor, no doubt about it. it he causes excitement just, just by walking in the building. And that Damn. Play courtesy of Pia. Took too long on that layup. Has to come. Out 
to the right wing. Oh, it's Debo for three. Randolph. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. The shooting numbers just aren't there yet in the quarter. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Doris Burke. Hey, Doris. Well, Kev, Freak, in the last matchup against the Hornets, got the job Oh, my God. I'm using all my stamina doing what? those points, and in addition to his scoring, he also came away with a season high for rebounds. It was a performance for the ages, and one that will have the whole Damn. talking. Great, Doris. Thanks. My boy here, boy. We see him top that performance right here tonight. You know, I can't imagine he'd be able to pull off that kind of an outing two games in a row but hey that's what the truly great ones are capable of doing well even if he came close to matching it that would be really impressive but i tell you that's asking an awful lot of one guy gasol kicks to conley feeds it to randolph lets it go from 11 and that one falls i'm really surprised he made that how many fouls do i have this game zero and no turnovers i could go this whole game with no fouls and no turnovers that'll be lit a chance to check out the stats for Mike Conley. This last month, he has been a real positive for this team. He's putting up about 14 Hope points I don't tonight, jinx it. 11 assists, and three rebounds. And his playmaking really stands out, making his teammates better offensively with his terrific passing. Yeah, he's outstanding at controlling the tempo. I mean, keeps the ball moving, and of course, finds the open man. The Grizzlies trail by 15. Good timing, just not good. Shot. Feeds it to Gasol. The jump hook again, Memphis. Yeah, just That's all they're really doing this game, just banging it inside and letting Mark Cole stop. Oh, just bodying up, get some muscle into him. Robertson passes to baseball. Shot to stop the drought. And all around the that should have been an assist. That ah, got me tight. Should have been. I assist. Memphis has gone one or two on three pointers here in the second quarter so far. Outside Green kicks it to Gasol. Rejected nah, I'm tired of leaving him alone on an island, bro. Here's Spates. Oh my. Why ain't you just lob that? Like, it's getting me tight. Like, lob the freaking ball. Picked up by Robertson. Damn it. Dishes it to green. I thought he was gonna shoot. The oh my Go god, why can't they just lob the ball? He was gonna lob that just now. Like I could have easily scored off that. It wasn't even that far away. There's no way I was gonna mess that up. Or so I think. But I won't lie, I don't know sometimes. I've messed up some some alleys. Different look here for the Warriors. Andrew Bogut, he's checked in for Spates. Barnes comes in for Green. Andre uh, it took a mad long for me to get the ball just now. If he would have passed it straight to me, he could already had a shot. Damn, first turnover. Damn. At least they didn't call that a goal time. I love the job they've been doing getting to the free throw line. We always like it when you're aggressive and not settled. Wesley Johnson's checked in for Memphis. And so it's Golden State with it. Earlier in the game, they had a 19-point lead. Robertson. Neal. Wow, that was an A shot. Neal's got his fourth uh, I probably needed to tonight. take my time a little bit. He dishes it to Conley. From outside. Wow, and watch this say that's what I mean. It's rebounded by Golden State. Robertson's got four rebounds now tonight. Here's Igudala. And the shot is Damn it. I need to get off with the rebound this game. They're on a 10-2 run here. Johnson with it. And it's Igudala picking him up. Fires from deep. Count it. And the Warrior lead has been cut down to eight on the bucket. Uh, this is what always yeah, happens. Stroking it from outside. I mean, textbook perfect. Good balance. Nice high release. Splash. Ooh. Ooh, baby. You're not ready. You're not ready. Ooh. They've built this lead for themselves here. Not ready for that spin move. Three point range so far in the second quarter. To the paint, here's Johnson. Nah, I did try to block it. I'm kind of surprised it didn't get blocked. I heard in the bonus. Well, I thought Johnson left the Lakers. Nah, he, he been left. Wait, he wasn't here the whole time, was he? That'll do it for the first half. 
The only accurate way to describe your interior defense was dominant. Were you looking to set a tone with all of those block shots? Yes. It's always our goal. Uh, I mean, we're always looking to come out and set a tone like that. All right, let's see what coach is gonna tell me to do. Whether or not he gonna pity the fool. Whether or not he gonna pity you. Whether or not he gonna get mad tonight. That I think, 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 think. Okay, guys. Solid play so far. I like what I'm seeing. But just a few things to talk about before the second half. Passing has been outstanding. You guys are playing smart team basketball. We've got a yes, yes, sir. Reed, smart team basketball. Teamwork make the dream work. Great position. Good job. I already know. Teamwork made that dream work. Like that, like that. To rebound and slow down our transition game. Let's still be quick to get out on the break. That's it for now, guys. Let's go get that double. Let's go out here. Take take their home court advantage from them. Let's make them get this L. Let's collect this easy W. He's been absolutely in control. No slowing down for Mr. Clutch. He's got 21 points and four block shots. And, and guys, he's been making play after play on both ends of the floor. No let up in him. And that's mindset. That's not just physical tenacity, but that's a mental tenacity, too, that he brings to the court. All right, guys, I'm going to have a quick little pause for a second. All right, guys, I'm back. Let me not hold you no longer. I hold y'all up from all the action. Hope we get ball first. Do we get ball first? Sorry, y'all, for making y'all watch these these whack cheerleaders. 
but stay low moves. I'm trying to buy myself a little bit of time as I make my sandwich. I'm hungry. Hungry than a motherfucker. Damn, I didn't know 2K really spent that much time making them chili. The Grizzlies uh -huh. by nine. And off is the four with Gasol in the middle. Conley out there with Gary Neal. And it's Green in at the small forward position. That's the five to begin the second half for Dave. That's Tony Snow. Shots good by Neal. Oh, that's pretty, a pretty Gary Neal. Timely recognition as to where the open man was. Curry attacking, eleven feet away, buries the jump shot. Seven points for Draymond Green. He could have forced a tough inside shot, but made a terrific kick out to find the open jumper instead. And for Memphis, they're shooting pretty good tonight at forty-eight percent. Good looking screen by Gasol. Conley dishes to Gasol. Green kicks to Randall. From 10 feet out, Neal's shot is off. He worked himself into a really good position there, right near the basket. That's the look he wanted. Wow. I even waited a little bit to make sure I didn't miss everything. Gasol a screen. Robertson against Conley. It's Gasol missing. Terrific job. And he keeps rebounds out here. At the rim. I mean, it's not an easy task stopping that fella when he's headed to the bucket like that. Good job. Pass to assist. Wow, I wanted my my like full assist. I don't want no pass to assist. I wanted like my assist. Clark, they've been I didn't get, get my assists up for the past what two seasons. Here's Randolph. And it's off the back rim. No Curry's really the getting these rebounds out here. Damn. Getting it going here. Robertson outside. And Damn. Contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. Jeff Green picks one up. The Warriors have knocked down eight of nine free throw attempts. I'm spunning. This boy was all in the air. Woo. Two. Oh yeah, come on, come on. And the first one well, like moving. All right. Keep running, keep running. Oh yeah, a couple more seconds for me to make this sandwich. Flash. So he hits both. And we're just about two minutes. Oh, let me put on this last piece of meat. Chill. Alright. Conley with it. He's got ten. He kicks it to Neil. To the middle. It's stolen by Green. And here we go. Fast break. Curry's got it. I don't know if he got it. Bucket. That's three of call, four. Here. Long call for Ali, but he got it. The Grizzlies trail by 15. Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes gone. Here's Gasol. No good. And they can't put an end to this drought. And that's the battle they haven't been winning today. Their work on the glass has been porous, and that's got to change. Yeah, no question about it. I mean, uh, carrying the dumb back, passes. He never passes to me when I'm open. There's Neil with the three, and it's out of bounds. The Grizzlies able to retain. I'm not even gonna comment on that block. Some of these people just don't check the stat report. They just don't know who they're playing against. They just don't know about the matchup. So I'm not gonna comment on it. I won't talk about how dumb of a shot that was when I'm right there. 
should have pump faked. That would that would have been a good choice. Ways don't know out here. I give them emphatic projections. Yeah, I don't care. I'm about to comment on that block. I give them emphatic projections. But I'm gonna let this whole time out run out. I'm about to put these tomatoes on my sandwich. Mind you guys, like, I'm literally, like, cutting the whole tomato order, like, right now. Like, during the game, as I'm playing. Then I gotta put on lettuce after I cut the tomato. And they've been scoring with such ease. I mean, they've been so resourceful at that end of the floor. If one thing doesn't work, they've always got other options they're able to come up with in terms of their offensive attack. I sorry guys, one quick little pause. About to finish. About to finish making this masterpiece. Cause I just came back from school and I am hungry. I don't even think this is lettuce. I think this is cabbage. Oh, this is not cabbage. My fault, y'all. Yeah. Alright, I finished my first sandwich. I'll finish the other one later. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Again, unable to change momentum here. Curry kicks to Robertson. And a miss there on the triple. My football percentage is dropping, my dude. Why am I missing open shots? You know what? A basket here would do a lot for their confidence. On the wing, Green. 13 points in the game. Shot clock at five. And that one's good. Something told me that he would... They, they, they were going to try what, that. What a good thing that he showed up today. Because without him, this thing would already be over. Quickly go to the 2K leaderboard and find out which shooting guards have been the hottest at the free throw line this season. Fourth, Clay Thompson. And this is a set of players that can drive and slash, hoping to draw contact because if they can get to the bucket and the foul, it's going to be a three point. Oh my God. Yeah, and I tell you what, I think even if they get whistled for now a it's fair at 33 percent, three point of that shooter. aggressive mindset. Um, it's worth it when you're in the How many open shooter, threes will I miss until I make are. another one? I think you've always got to be aggressive in trying to get yourself to the foul line. What? what? has been cut down to 10 on the bucket from Ah, that's some cheese. I don't the Warriors care. have gone 3 of 6 in the third quarter. 50% from the Damn, field. Damn, what the? Get me tight. Robertson outside. And Curry has it in the corner. Green with a screen for Curry. Stolen by Randolph. And here is Conley. He's got 10. Over in the corner, Green. And lots of contact there. Missing the he shot. really wanted to get that foul. Chance here to check out some stats on Steph Curry. What a run he's been on over the past few weeks. Averaging about 15 points, 12 assists, and two and a half steals. He has been at his most dynamic, no question about it, a real handful. Well, he's operating at the highest level right now, one of the truly elite talents in the NBA. The free throw drops for Jeff Green. And 
Good on the second, so he makes them both. Warriors leading by eight. To the left side wing. Robertson drives in. And he overdid it there. Too much force it looked like on the foul, and he's called for the flagrants. And, Kevin, that's a pretty dangerous play right there. I mean, I don't like to see a player put an opponent in harm's way. As much as you just saw him do there, glad they pinned a, a flagrant on him. Yeah, you're right, Greg. The officials were all over it. They weren't going to let him off the hook that time. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for the Warriors. They keep piling up the assists, and they haven't cooled off. At all. They've really been on fire from beyond the arc tonight, too. I mean, a lot of their points have come from out there. He's a dead eye at the line, fellas. Just call him automatic. He doesn't miss many of those. Off the inbound. Misses off the right iron. He's going to play his way right onto the bench and out of the game if he continues to shoot it like he has so far. I'm actually over center. Finally, back Kirk. to 50. All right, I gotta start making them again. Here's Gasol. That's in there. Conley with the assist. I know. Conley's got assist number eight here in this one already. Anything that I can get get to four right now. Here's the pass to Robertson. Shot is off. Great D that time from Green. I think it's because I wonder if Jeff Green has a lockdown. Pass to Randolph. It's good. Oh, and it's a six make against 11 attempts. It seems that every pass they make is leading to a score here. I mean, that's just exquisite ball movement. And that's because the ball is looking for the best shot. And it's really paid off for them during the run. Tries again. And it's good. And one. Contact, it's the shot. Hey, the free throw hey my, 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 hey, my. How about the purpose one. with which he's the playing? Damn one, bro. The damn one, bro. And one, bro. Let them know, bro. Let them know. I know they can't. Can't, can't, can't body you up in the paint. And that one misses. The Grizzlies. Ooh, I'm about to be the last one back on defense. Can't let that happen. A right, quick pause. Sorry again. It's gonna be the last time. Sandwich and mm. Oh no, I'm under fifty percent. Wow. And that fourth foul wow. might force him to scale back the aggression from a defensive standpoint. He does not need, nor does the team need, number five. Mm. This is his third trip to the free throw line in the game. And the free throw line was a problem spot for him in their last game. Really struggled up there. Yeah, you know, he had a lot of misses for him. And it looked to me as though he just never was comfortable from the foul line. You know, even in games where he hasn't been at his best this season, I mean, he still managed to get it done at the charity stripe when he gets his opportunities. And he had one in the first as well. He can be dangerous. Keep an eye on him. All right, I'm at 50%. Outside Gasol. For three-point shooting and field goal percentage. Hit by Randolph. Gasol passes to Randolph. No good. Oh, come on, I need my double double. Move, move, move. To the left wing. Oh, not chill. Takes it from ten. Lands oh, thank God. Drops. Robertson's got nine points here in the second half. Most of them have fall fallen to me from the jump. Like, I was basically cold that I made that.
And I find that weird because all of the other times I was missing and I got a C on it. That time I made it when it was a D. Something for us right now, Doris. Yes, guys, over that last break, I listened to Dave Yeager address his team. He told the team he wanted their offense to run through green. Coach has a lot of faith in him offensively and let his players know it, insisting that he be at the forefront of what they do at that end of the court from here on out. Clearly, some adjustments there had to be made because the time left for a comeback is quickly running out. Kevin, over to you. Thanks again, Doris. Off the pick. Oh, and that one had the right spit on it, and it is good. Neal's got four points in the quarter. You know, the defense has got to do a much better job of fighting over those screens. And Greg, especially when the ball is in his hands. I mean, come on now. You know he doesn't miss too many open looks like that. Baysmore gets the bucket, and the Warriors lead by 10. And, and guys, that kind of sums it up right there. I mean, one team getting after it, hustling the rebounds, the put packs. The other team just a step slow. Neal dishes to Green. Outside Gasol. Six on the shot clock. It's up a three. And Jeff Green, the bucket on the assist by Gasol. Gasol's got assist number five here tonight. He's really stepped it up this quarter. Looks like he's determined to get them out of this hole all by himself. His first shot coming late, and it's Golden State with another. What a passing display he has put on here tonight. Yeah, he's spoiling us, Greg. I mean, there's just another fantastic dime drop right there. That one certainly should make the highlight reel. Conley kicks to right. He feeds it to Neal. Back to right. And it's sent back by Bogut. Look at what Gasol has done so far. He's got eight points and five assists. He's gotten after it on the boards for them as well as in the transition game. And I like the fact that one has really fed into the other. The first free throw is good. And even though they're down, they are putting on a show at the free throw line. Yeah, they're making the most of their opportunities at the stripe, and they'll need to keep it up to take the lead. Wesley Johnson's checked in for Jeff Green. And the Warriors also making a change. Andre Iguodala is checked in for Kent Bazemore. Robertson drives in. Water. That one a tad offline to the right, but drops. I always one. pass out of that. I should have taken that. In this alone. That was a freak throw line the jump. Uh, by nine. <laughs> uh, by four. 13 and 25. Excuse me. That sandwich got me feeling right. <laughs> Five on the clock. Andre Iguodala comes up with the rebound. Iggy. 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 Come on, man. Short range. Memphis has gone past the three-point line for 13 of their shots. Six of 13. Feeds it to Neal. And that one falls coming off Conley's feet. I don't know how he made it. He's got 10 assists here tonight. So active. Outside Curry. Bogut the pass to Curry. Here's Robertson. The shot is off. Excellent D there by Johnson. I didn't even mean to and shoot that. How did I drop? Why did my field goal open and just drop by 4%? They're missing one shot. Let's a floater go. It's stolen by Curry. Yo, 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 yo. Always going up for the alley oop here. Damn. I like how he'll throw the alley oop from half court, but he won't throw the alley oop when I'm. You know what? And guys, he's making winning plays. It's as simple as that. Not a star player per se, but he makes his presence felt. And fellas, I would say he's been overachieving a little bit. That was my fault. Hopefully, this okay. is a sign of greater things for the future. Whoa. Robertson kicks to Bogut. Oh, wait. I just realized something. And one. Oh, wow. Two free throws now for him. 
let's see which big men have had the softest touch lately with this look at the leading field goal percentages among centers and power forwards in the last 10 games. You look at Mahimi, you know what you're I like how they just, no, nah, I don't count. And most of the guys on that list have that unique combination of power and finesse. I mean, a very physical presence with an equally soft touch. Yeah, and you've got to have a mix of options if you're going to shoot a high percentage like these guys do. You've got to be able to establish good position, and then you've got to have a nice feel around the bucket with both hands. Neal's shot is off. That's a look you cannot pass up. It's also one you should miss. Got that bucket in in no time at all. I had to take my time if I shot that too early. That was going to work. Really just a tremendous day. Make sure my shot was well like water. Woo! He was just as good in their last game. Shots good by Neil. Well, we see that. I see you, Iggy, playing tight, D. There's nothing. In the paint. Well, oh, he, he could have did to contest that shot. Inside, they've really got to pick up that interior defense. Shoots from 14. Come on, I don't understand how I'm missing those. Like, do I need a perfect release or something? Because I'm obviously open. Because if you contest a shot from behind, it doesn't really count as being contested. And he's got his first free throw of the game. <sighs> it's whatever. 2K is 2K. Somehow it's become a real struggle at the free throw line. He's lost his way there. I mean, he's not having anywhere near the same success he had there last season. Smith checked in for Golden State. And so right, Neil's both of them. Here's Igudala. A look at his stats. He averages a bit over eight points a game. All right, I'm back. Kicks it to Bogut. Robertson right side. Smith, that's good. Yeah, you Robertson can't mess that assist. up. Well, you, you nah, I won't even lie. That pass was nearly picked off. Post. Oh, without question. I mean, when you get it, when he gets to the All right, now that gives us a good post. chance to go two that's for easy. one. Real easy. That's good in the Warrior League. Uh, all right, we have the last possession. It doesn't matter. You got to love the big bucket for one opportunity. Sort of grind it out physical game. That's the kind of look they can continue to go with. Maybe that'll help them create some No, Iggy, chill. I'm going to go two for one. That's why whenever I don't like to let them get the final shot clock. Of course. Of course. Yo, let me get that. Thank you. Robertson outside and released it in time, but it hate when I miss a buzzer beater that's easy. Like, come on, that was easy, 2K. How is that a miss? Golden State's gone. Makes no sense. And now my, my field goal percentage is at 46. On the court for Golden State here in the fourth. Thompson is out there with Igudala. Then it's Smith, and it's Green in at the five spot. Nice shot by Smith. That feed by Eagle Dollar, a really good example of his passing ability. The Grizzlies trail by four. Conley kicks to Green. With some arc, and he sinks the layup. I don't understand Green's how they make that floater with the contact right basket. there. With an overall so low, but if I tried, I bet you I miss. Wow, he could have hustled for that. Your will offensively, getting exactly the kind of looks their coach drew up. Pick by Randall. Conley kicks to Randall. And he tries off the glass, but it's no good. The Warriors shooting has been terrific. 54% on the game. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. Conley against Robertson to tie it up. Can't tie it up as that one misses. On the wing, Thompson. Robertson with it. Now Green defending. Robertson. Caught him. 
And guys, right now, the defense mentally not there. I'm about to call me it right now. I'm about to get this field goal percentage. I'm ending this game with over 50%. I'm say y'all right now. And we're winning this. We're definitely winning this because we had such a big, big lead. There's no excuse for us to lose. Smith dishes to Robertson, kicks it out to Iguodala. Golden State moving it around. Clock at four. Puts it up. The shot will not go. Damn, thought Iggy could have hit that. For Memphis, they've gone All right, they had a the good Since we defensive the play. play. Dishes it to Randolph. Take it. Come on, Zebo. Shoot it. I know you want to shoot it. Miss. Wow. Uh, uh. And coach wants them to run the offense through me too. This is what I'm about to try and do. But I need to take down the ball. That's what I need to do. I like they need to let me take down the ball. Cause if I take 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 down the ball, I can pass early to the people who get open early when I take it down. That's all they gotta do now. Let me take the ball down. Of course, that like never happens. And then for Golden State, checked in for Smith. Yep, especially because it always puts me right there. Curry gets the screen from Robertson. Curry kicks to Robertson. And again, no good by Golden State. Damn, my timing was bad, and it was a bad shot. Pretty good numbers coming out of the break. Picked by Randolph. Here's Neil, guarded by Spade. And Gasol with the double. Nah, that's fake. That shouldn't have gone in. That should not have gone in. But it just had the right roll on it. Expect to contest it. The drive by Green. No good from 11 feet. Come on, if we lose, son. Guys, this offense very effective. Going right at him. And guys, the defense uh, has been no match. They've just picked Four. them apart. And you talk Come on, we got to shorten the lead now. Give me that freaking ball. Shown a lot of grit in this comeback. They sure did, Greg. And I like the fact they never put their chin in their chest when they were down early. I mean, they were down big early. What? Oh my god, this is 2K bullcrap. Very impressive. Come on, my dude. That's a layup. An open layup. If he contests a late. Ah, what the. Uh, and he just posterizes her. Man, he's got a lot of firepower right now. I mean, what a half he's having. Uh, let me calm it down. I gotta calm it down. Get a pass. Oh my god. Clay, you better give me this. Ah. Uh. Tired of going to the free throw line and not get these and one. I want to and one. And I like how they've taken the high percentage shot in the paint. In that first half, we saw them doing it, and they've continued to succeed as the game has worn on. Something that also stands out tonight is the number of assists they have. I mean, that's um, that's a mark of a good club. Randolph a screen. They double team Conley. Right side green. Corner shot. No luck. The Warriors go the other way with it. Yo, I don't care if I excessively call for the ball. Give Oh my God, Stefan. Gasol on the high post. Here's Neil, covered by Robertson. His dumb pass the ball. Antics cost us. Nice quick fire release. Yeah, and the mid range shot really the only option in that situation. How? That's a B minus. Oh my god. The dish to Randolph. Good looking screen by Gasol. Randolph kicks to Conley. 
The drive by Randolph. No luck. Great D that time from Green. Warriors trail by six. Here's Spates. Swiped it away. Now Conley. Gasol gets to Conley. Good, and the assist goes to Gasol. 14 points for Conley. Uh. Boy, I tell you what, nice little run here that they're going on. And, and getting to the 10 has been the key there. Getting point blank looks time and time again. Curry gets the bucket. A lot of space right there to get that shot off. Not a very good job of the defender getting over the top of that screen in that particular play. Randolph a screen. The pass to Neal. Randolph against Green. Down low. Mike Conley again. Conley's got the lead up to eight now for the Grizzlies. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting in the paint and keep scoring points. Keep it going. Not a lot you can do as a defense when they keep hitting the ball in the paint like this. And it's good. Thank you. My goodness, how about the degree of difficulty on that shot? When you're hot, you're hot. And he is absolutely scorching. Jeff Green on the wing. Damn it. Yeah. Rebound goes to the Warriors. Give me. If you don't. Here's Robertson. Have to shoot early. I have to. Grizzlies pull it in. Neal's got rebound number ten tonight with that last one. Conley kicks to Green. Upside Gasol. From 15 feet away, and it's Memphis with another. Uh. I like the recognition of the mismatch there, immediately making the defense pay. Curry kicks to Green. No good with the triple. And the Grizzlies leading by eight. Neal passes to Connor. He dishes it to Green. And, yep, that's going to be a flagrant foul. Unnecessary contact. Boy, a, a very hard foul that time. And the officials had to slap him with the flagrant. I mean, you can't let him get away with that kind of contact. Yeah, gee, that's an easy call for the officials to make when there's that much contact. The league is really cracking down on those sort of plays. Can you believe the job they're doing at the foul line since halftime? I mean, they've been perfect so far. Yeah, as cool as can be, Clark. Great focus and efficiency. That's how they built this lead. Randall, that's in there. Conley with the assist. And now it's a 12-point Grizzly lead. You got it. Let's get the ball inside. Green against Robertson. Fires from 14. Good on the shot. Robertson's got 42 in the game. Boy, he's making it look really easy right now. I expect them to continue to run the offense through him until the defense makes him change plans. Conley against Curry. Randolph a screen on Curry. They double team Conley. Here's Gasol. Speaks with the block. Robertson left side. You know what? Nah. 14 feet away. Can't miss that. Come on. Randolph wow. How with double Randolph's circles on offense and a mismatch, game. I still miss. That's fake. I hate about this game sometimes, son. Oh my God. Neal passes to Conley to the middle, and it's sent back by Spates. Got it. Get the ball and Thompson kicks to Green. Robertson with it. Gasol covering. That's to Curry. Some nice passing by Golden State. Spates sets a screen. Here's Robertson. And I had to shoot to that. Grizzlies. Gasol's got eight rebounds in this game. Over in the corner, Green. That's in there. Conley with the assist. 32 points for Jeff Green. Four of their last five makes came off. Oh, <sighs> we're going to take that. Oh, wow. Really, when you look at how they're playing, they are having their way. Why does this always happen? And the fourth, I always miss those easy shots. There's the feed to Spates. Quick shot there, and it's off target. And then they start to make all their shots. How? 
had another field goal in his total. Make it seven for 14, shooting 50%. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Really a prime example of the difference in how these teams have operated offensively. Much more individual play at the other end. You can see that they're not as aggressive from the three-point arc. They had far more attempts in the first half. Memphis leading by 12. 151 left to play here in the fourth. It's tipped. It's stolen by Green. And it's the Warriors on the break. And the shot is yes. I had that quick hustle. I, was, uh, I thought I'd tip pass coming. Uh, I was like, I bet I'm going to scoop that up. I'm going to hustle it down. I wish my guy ran faster, but he's too tall. So he can't run that fast even with my athlete maxed out. Doris Burke. Thanks, guys. I was able to hear Dave Yeager coach his team during that break. He wanted his guys to keep up the intensity, saying, if any of you think this game is over, you're wrong. We've got work to do. I don't want to see any letdown on the defensive end of the floor. Guys, let's watch how it plays out. Here's Gasol. And again, Memphis, no good. The inside just a bit too congested for him. Wow. The usual shot he would have with Are you River. Serious? He passes it to come. He feeds it to Green. Knocked loose. Yeah. Again. Ag are you serious? And it's Spades with the rebound. Again. Spades has got rebound number five here tonight. Make that. He lets it go. And the lead is down inside single digits. Oh, come on. If we go into OT, I'm going to cry. That means boys got to be clutch out here game. on defense. Gasol against space. Randall. And again, unable to change momentum here. And so it's... Car make that, that, please! No! Oh, my God. The game's done. Now here's Conley. Game's done. 29 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. They get it back, and Thompson oh, sends it back. retarded. Just too much of a deficit to overcome. Just not I don't care. Ticks left on that clock in this one, Damn. And if the shot's not there, you've got to understand that. Move the basketball. Yeah, exactly, and I'm not quite sure what is my uh, thinking there. I mean, that was just a terrible shot. And the foul called on Freak. That'll be a so it's Memphis. Oh, I like how we just gave them that win. We were up by so much earlier. So, gentlemen, I'm here with Mark Gasol. And, Mark, how would you break down so this is going to be an easy game. It's an ability to come away with this win. Just a good all around night. We believe that they're in the fourth quarter. I think we did a good job of, uh, you know, staying in the game. Uh, and, you know, uh, we just believe. On to the next one. Thank you for the time. Why did, wait, Marcus Hall in real life doesn't even talk like that. They made him sound mad Scottish. In real life, Marcus Hall does not talk like that. This is Kevin Harlan along with our entire 2K sports crew. Thanking you for tuning in. And now we'll head over to the... The 2K sports post-game show. Welcome back, Ernie Johnson, along with Shaq and Kenny the Jet. Let's quickly move forward now to the presentation of our Jordan player of the game, Jeff Green. He put up a new season high tonight, and if he keeps shooting like he did tonight before the season's over, he might top it. A big key to his team's victory here. What a performance by Jeff Green. This is a man with a world of talent. A lot of times on the offensive end, he Guys, whack. He has one rebound and two assists. Him a focal point, he's tough to handle. Boom, 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 boom. That's right, Ernie. Instruments. This guy was instrumental tonight in making sure they avoided a second straight loss. They needed somebody to step up tonight, and he was their guy. And that'll do it for our broadcast tonight. Hope you enjoyed the show. 
uh, for me and, and Kenny Smith, Shaquille O'Neal, and Kevin Harlan, and the entire 2K Sports crew. Have a wonderful evening. Yeah, and I bet you have no badges. I actually played a lot of minutes in that game. 43, okay. They knew that I was going to clutch it out there. Instead, I was not clutching it. I was choking. Alright y'all, well, that was a personally a good performance. Wait, what were my stats from that game? Because now that I think about it, I wasn't paying attention to how many points I had in that game. I'm probably going to put it up on the app. But, y'all already know how we do. That was... A my career gameplay from your boy, K Star the God. Already know how we do this. This is K Star the God signing out. Until next time. Peace.